Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Excuse the pyjamas and the hair and the no makeup but I've been painting all day um, in the kitchen. Oh, it's looking great. Um, husband's been at work so that's it. I've got some paint and I've been painting all day long. Music blaring and it's just been a really productive day. I've used that extra hour from the clocks changing to good effect. Um, not finished yet by a long shot however I've made good progress today. Just saw the bath which is fine like this, I digress. So yeah, I've had a bath, I've got no makeup on, hair's a mess, it doesn't matter. I wasn't gonna film, so I thought, oh, I can't be bothered, I'm just wanting to go and chill out and watch a bit of TV before my husband gets home. However, I did say yesterday that I was gonna get this declutter video done today, and it's my last skincare thing. So I thought, let's just get it done, it's the end of the week. Um, so we're going to be looking at exfoliators and um, these are facial exfoliators not body because we've already done our body scrubs and things so yeah these are all for the face and then um, I love exfoliators I really really do Um, oh in case you're wondering I'm not wearing lip gloss like a weirdo with all this I've got a, a lip balm on let me just get it it's really nice I just started using it a couple of nights ago and it's the Walida skin food lip balm it's one like that and it's um, quite greasy, so I'm just going to put it on at night time. And then, um, yeah, but it feels really comfy, but I won't want to wear it through the day. But, I've just thrown it on the floor, I know. <laughs> um, I won't want to wear it through the daytime, but it's quite nice at night. So, yeah, I'm looking a bit glowy and shiny. <laughs> I've just shoved on all the different serums and oils and moisturisers and whatnot, so I'm feeling all ready for the night. Okay, so... Why are we here for decluttering? So I better stop yabbing on. So let us whiz round and um, get this one done. I cannot wait to finally have these finished. Okay, let us go. Right guys, so we have my four boxes to keep, to bin, giveaways, friends and families. The usual thing applies as always. This is the box of goodies. Have you got any of these? Do you love any? Do you hate any? Let's have a look and see. Um, oh, before I begin as well, um, someone had commented yesterday about when I'm getting ready to do my makeup declutter and whether I was going to keep these four boxes. I kind of think that through all my declutters, I'm going to keep these boxes. Let me know if you think that's a good idea or not. But I kind of like the whole idea of deciding if I'm keeping it for me or throwing it away, if I want to give it to somebody in my family or if I want to sort of save it if it's unopened and, and whatnot for a giveaway. I think it kind of works. Um, and I don't really think I need to change the format, but you let me know and then um, I will take your thoughts on board. Although I'll probably stick with what I'm going to do. <laughs> but feel free to have an opinion. It's okay, you're allowed to have an opinion. So the first thing is, and this is out my bathroom. I am, oh, I've nearly finished it. This is my second one of these. And I've had loads of minis and travel sizes. I'm down to about here. It's not going to be long until I finish it. And it's the Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. I just love it. It's a really fine exfoliator. But because it's got the um all the different acids acids, sorry, the salicylic, lactic, and glycolic acids, it just helps to sort of give you a lovely, bright, smooth complexion. 12 months from opening, it's definitely not that long since I opened it. The only thing that worries me is is there an expiry date on here. Because I've maybe had it a little while before I opened it. It looks good, and to be honest, I'm virtually finished. So I'm gonna keep that and pop it straight back in my bathroom once I'm done. Next one is this, and I need to get this out because this is, I want to do a comparison between this and a different brand, which I'll, I'll pick out next actually. So this is the Good Molecules, and it is an exfoliating powder. It's a pineapple one. Again, it's got fruit enzymes, vitamin C, rice powder, so it brightens your skin, exfoliates. And these, well, this type of exfoliator, I love i absolutely love let's have a look at the bottle um as with all my good molecules products this has kind of been gifted to me i'm dead lucky i'm on their pr list which is amazing um so this is it here again glass bottles like all their products and 
they're amazing the good thing as well about good molecules is i'm um, on the ingredients list they are dead honest with their ingredients they tell you exactly what's in it how much and it is in the correct order from high to low and um, they don't fudge anything they tell you exactly what percentages etc is in there so it is very very good they're a very transparent company so yeah i'm keeping that now that to me is just like well it appears to be very similar to these which is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. So I did have, I had the big one opened originally. Um, I've had about three or four of these smaller ones. I've given one to my son's girlfriend. I think I put one in a giveaway before. I might have given one to somebody else as well. And then this one now seems to be open in my bathroom and it is virtually finished. Um, it is just a very fine powder. It's like a rice powder. Um, and so, yeah, this is what I was wanting to do a comparison with, really, between this and the Good Molecules Pineapple one to see what they're like, because that Good Molecules one is way cheaper than these. So it'd be really interesting to see. So this one's virtually finished. I'm keeping that. This is a much bigger one, which I got in a box. Oh, gosh, it ages ago. I don't know if it's maybe one of the style boxes or something like that. It is good for two years from opening, so I'm going to keep it. It is a powder um so yeah i'm definitely keeping both of them and i've nearly finished the other one um next thing i've got a few of are i have got a few multiple products so these are the context microderm regenerator um i'm pretty sure these are all sealed let me just check off camera sorry guys i'll just do one yep so there's that one's sealed um, this is the next one. Just so you know, I'm not fudging you. <laughs> that one's sealed. Is this one sealed? Oh, that one's open. Ah, that's it. So I know it should be sealed. I've not used this for ages. So what is the date from opening? Where are we? Focus camera. Ah, why can't I see? My eyes are shocking. I'm really tired. I had another bad night's sleep. Bear with me. 12 months okay i can't be sure if it was 12 i reckon it's probably more than 12 months so i'm going to bin that one but i will keep these as long as there is no expiry date which there doesn't appear to be so i'll keep these two and i've um decluttered one that's not so bad this is one I can't wait. I've not even tried it yet. I can't believe I've not tried it. It's Rituals, the Ritual Sakura, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. And then it's the Softening Rice Scrub. So I haven't tried this yet. Oh, this might be my next one that I use. I cannot wait. Please be in date. I think this is just from this year, but I'm pretty sure it is from this year, earlier in the year. Maybe, oh, what would it be? Maybe Look Fantastic, I'm going to guess. Help me out if you know. You're much better at remembering than I am. Honestly, my memory is shocking. But I'm looking forward to this. It should be lovely. I just love scrubs. I quite like, um, I do like the sort of like physical scrubs, but I like the chemical exfoliators as well. Next thing I've got are a couple of these, and this is the Wishful Your Glow Enzyme Scrub. And this is by um, Huda. You know Huda Katan does Huda Beauty. This is their skincare range. And I haven't tried it yet, but it's an enzyme scrub. Cannot wait. We only just got this last month, month before, last month, I think. Um, and then I got one from my box and um, like one from my paid subscription and one from the PR box from Glossy Box. So that's those. I'm keeping both of them. I love scrubs and you know, exfoliators, which is why I'm keeping these. Um, next one is Real Chemistry. Three minute peel. Oh, do you know, I've got a few little peels now. I need to do these. I really do need to do this. I'm excited to do this. I definitely haven't opened this. And how long from opening? I can't see any information on there. I might do a video on this. Oh, I'm going to be doing videos on everything. I, I, <laughs> I say, oh, I'm going to do a video on this. I'm going to do a video on that. But this is something a little bit different. So I would quite be, I'd sort of be quite interested in um, seeing what the effects of this are. I and mean, if you've got this, tried it. 
what did you think let me know down below so yeah we'll keep that next one is um this is partially or partially open this is opened it's probably about two-thirds of the way finished it is vitamasks rose gommage peeling gel um so again you meant to just rub this into your skin and then it just takes off all the dead skin kind of like when you've been on holiday and if you when you've had a tan when you start you know, you start peeling no matter how good you look after your skin. And when that skin starts coming off when you're sort of adding your sun cream or your moisturiser, it feels like that. It just lifts all the skin up and it starts peeling. However, I have quite a lot of peach fuzz and it gets stuck in my peach fuzz. It is a nightmare. And I'll be putting my makeup on and there's all these like, little bits of skin stuck in my, my fuzzy face. So I might need to try and get, you know, get those little blades to shave your face. Maybe I could do one of those. Um, but yeah, I really like it actually. Um, it's not been open that long. I think I've used it about three times. So I'll keep that and I'll get that used up, but I do like it. I don't know if that um if the wishful wants a similar thing to that actually. I don't know if it's a bit of a um like a gommage. Oh, that's got AHA BHAs as well, that um the wishful one. Next thing is this. I got this from the Feel Unique and it was in it wasn't the pick and mix, it was the beauty kit and I hate it. <laughs> It is literally like glass. It is so scratchy. It's like when you have to go to the beach and you get sand in your feet and then you have to try and dry yourself and the sand, well, it could be sand anywhere in your body and you're trying to get dry and um, you're just rubbing sand in. That is what it's like. I absolutely hate it. So it has been open, so I can't give it to anyone. I certainly wouldn't inflict it on any friends or family, so it's going in the bin. I was going to keep it as um, a body scrub, and I think I even tried it on my legs, and even that was dreadful. So, yeah, I just got rid of it. So, next one is a Brighten Up Exfoliator by Versante. Um, I can't even remember getting this. With papaya microcrystals and aloe. I know that kind of, um, like these physical scrubs are sort of less popular now, aren't they? But I do like a scrub. Cruelty free and vegan, 12 months from opening. Let's see if it's open. It is open. Um, and it feels actually like it's been used a bit. But it smells nice. Okay, I'm going to hang on to this, but let me know when we got it, if you can remember. And if it's just this year, that be fine. I'm sure it must be this year, 12 months. If, I, if you can remember, it'd be really useful to me. Um, if it's sort of more than 12 months ago, then I'll, I'll come and declutter it. Next is a Sand and Sky, and this is the, the pink clay, but it's the exfoliating treatment rather than the clay mask. Um, this is when I got mixed up. Do you remember when I was doing the um, face masks? And I got confused and I thought I had two of the Sand and Sky clay masks, but I didn't. So I popped this into here. I haven't tried it yet. I'll give it a go. I've got lots of exfoliates, but I don't mind, as I say. Um, number seven, Radiant Results, Revitalizing Daily Face Polish. I've got this in my number seven calendar, which is two years ago. So 12 months once opened. I think these are normally pretty good at being sealed on the number seven products. Having said that, it is open. I'm going to declutter it. I know loads of people love number seven and I don't know, I'm just, I'm not really a fan to be honest. Um, however, I might give this a little go and it's a number seven total renewal microdermabrasion exfoliator. So I'm imagining this is going to be a little bit like um, these ones, like the context ones. Again, yeah, they're both in microderm exfoliator. So imagine it's going to be similar to that. It'd be interesting to compare prices and results and see what I think of them. So 25 mils, 24 months for this one. I don't think I've opened it. No, it is still sealed. So we'll hang on to that. Nearly finished, guys, actually. Next is this, and it's the Bybee Prime Time Priming Facial Polish. I found this really weird. Um, 
I've had it a while actually and I have had it I have opened it and I've tried it I am going to declutter it I think it was a bit like a Vaseline it just felt like rubbing Vaseline in your face if you can see there the consistency can you see it's like Vaseline it was just so odd um I think some people really really liked it that's on my skin there it's quite a greasy thing really um it's well, it smells slightly you know that slight paint smell and i know i've been painting all day i also i do think it sometimes smells a bit like paint stripper and um, that's going in the bin next i haven't tried this one either and it is by avant and this one is one of their exfoliators so we've had lots and lots of skincare by avant um, but I haven't tried this one yet and um, 12 months once opening cruelty free these are usually worth between like the Avant products are usually between £80 and £100 it is a very expensive brand I wonder if it's sealed I don't think I've used it okay it's not sealed but I've definitely not used it yet so I am going to keep that um, I don't know if that class is as technically opening it because I've taken the lid off um oh do a patch test that's interesting i never do patch tests for um exfoliators and things do any of you um and even though i had to do patch tests i might look into that a bit more actually um so there there we go i'll keep that next thing is this and it's paula's choice and it's one percent retinol and this needs to go in the bin i've had it for ages and i got it before i fully appreciated what it was and what it did i think i got it when i was subscribed to you beauty box and then when it transferred over to become um latest in beauty so you beauty box stopped and it was a sister company of latest in beauty and um yes yeah, so i went over there and they gave us this as a gift and thinking they said it's like worth over 50 pounds and i have used it quite a bit but it is definitely out of date now and 12 months from opening I've used it years ago. In fact, I was going to say it's going to be three years, I reckon, since I opened it. So that is going in the bin. Um, shame. I might even end up purchasing one, you know, in the future again. And then finally, I think this is virtually finished, but it does need to go in the bin. And again, before I really understood about glycolic acid and what it did, and I do know that when I liked it, it did have good results, but I think it used to tingle my face a lot. Um, and it is, here it says, what does it say about it to tell you? No, but it's just basically glycolic acid. It's a really strong um, exfoliator, really, a liquid exfoliator. And you do need to use a sunscreen with it. And as I say, my face did tingle, but I enjoyed it. And it says here, look, not to follow with a moisturiser or serum, just to use it as it is. But I think if it becomes like a bit, if you're trying to get used to it, first of all, if you apply a serum and moisturiser after it, it just kind of like dilutes the effects of it. And it's just a liquid actually it's virtually finished you can see but i really really like that it's a really good treatment again i think that's quite expensive i think i got it in like a sunday times beauty box i think it's the ladies in beauty collaboration in a way i'm pretty sure a couple of years ago more than two years ago it was in i can remember it was in the other house um yeah so that's that and that is everything so i'm going to do my sums and we'll have a chat let me just tip up a wee bit there we go it's a bad angle yeah, so that's everything, what I'm keeping, what I'm binning. So, there we have it, the final declutter of my skincare for 2020. <laughs> Hooray, you all deserve a medal for sticking with me. Thanks, guys. I am so, honestly, so grateful for all of you that come back and comment and watch. And by commenting, it, it sort of lets me know that people are watching it and enjoying it and want to see it. And by doing that, it is helping me stay on track and then film more declutters. I've attempted to do declutters in the past and then kind of fallen by the wayside a bit. But 
you, the, the engagement from you all is honestly so incredible and it's keeping me motivated. I know it's motivating some of you and I know a few of you are being very naughty and hiding from your declutters. You need to go and face your collections sooner or later. Um, so let's see, for exfoliators, I started off with 21 products. I have kept 15 and I've decluttered six. So I don't think that is too bad. I'm excited. There are quite a few sort of comparable products in this slot this time. We've got the Good Molecules Pineapple Powder versus the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. Different price points. Interesting to see what the outcome of those are. We have the Wishful, I think it's like a bit like a gommage thing as well, versus the Vitamasks one. Plus I have the Context Microdermabrasion exfoliator thingy versus the similar product by number seven as well and the reason why i'm really excited with this slot in particular is i've not got too many products but the fact i've got so many that are quite similar to each other means i can sort of try them out and test them against each other and find out which one i prefer over the other you know so i really hope it's like the cheaper ones which can kind of tip all the more expensive brands because i think that's a real a real win for consumers you know all right then so that skincare finished hair care is next i reckon i'm just looking at it i'm not sure how many videos it'll be it's not going to be many maybe two i don't know we'll see as once i get everything out i'm really looking forward to my hair care because I literally, I've got no clue what I have in there at all. Everything just gets packed away. And I think there'll probably be some really amazing products that I've forgotten all about. Or when you do an unboxing, you kind of open it and say, oh, that looks interesting. Then you pack it away and don't use it. So I'm going to try and make a point of pulling something out every week um, and, and using it and seeing what it's like. That's the plan. So as always, thank you for joining me. <laughs> you are darlings. I hope you've enjoyed the extra hour in bed last night. I'm going to go and pour myself something rather delicious. I found some flavoured vodka. It is, um, last vodka I had was a raspberry vodka and it was really delicious with some Pepsi Max. But I've just got a watermelon and lime vodka. It sounds scrummy. So I don't know if to have it with um, Pepsi Max or um, I've got some diet lemonade. It might be nice with the lemonade. I might just have two and have one of each. Again, compare and see which one you prefer. <laughs> Right, I had decluttering my vodka. So, have a lovely Sunday evening. Tomorrow, I am going to be back with a um, an unboxing, and it is a beauty box, and it is a beauty box that I haven't unboxed before on my channel, and um, I've been sent it very, very kindly, and I cannot wait to share it with you all. I'm really excited to see what's inside. <laughs> right, that's all I'm going to tell you, a little teaser. So, I will see you all again tomorrow probably with a bit of makeup on, with my hair done, trying to make a bit of an effort since somebody's thought, <laughs> sent me something to try and share with you all. So I better try and look semi-decent. But um, for tonight, I'm going to chill because I'm amongst friends. So take care, guys, and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm sure you have. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, click the bell notification. And then don't forget to comment. Let's have a little chat. And um, thumbs up for me or down thumbs up and then feel free to share it with all your friends <laughs> right i'm gonna go i've got a bit too lally so i'm um, i'm shattered i'll see you all again tomorrow guys bye for now and thanks for coming back again Mwah. bye love yous